What's up, everybody? It's George Gabriel, and you are using Logic all wrong. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey, I've been using Logic for a few years. I was on GarageBand. You know, it came free with my laptop or whatever. And I wanted to expand my musical horizon, so I started using uh, Logic. And, uh, you know, it was kind of like GarageBand because it had some of the same features in it. Well, the thing is, for those of us who are pros, we were lamenting the fact that Apple made it like GarageBand because they wanted to grab more users and all that. I get it. But at the same time, they were putting all of these non-pro things in or these dumbed down things in. And it became a bone of contention for those of us who have been using it on a pro level. And then we had all these GarageBand features suddenly in Logic and we're like, what? So I have seven things that you are doing wrong in Logic right now because you may not be aware. And really what this is all about is improving your workflow. You know, you have ideas, you're creative, you wanna be a producer, you wanna make some music, totally get it. But what you want to do is do it right, not do how logic is feeding you in its current state. And I think that's part of the problem. It's folding it out for you in this one way. And you're like, well, I guess this is how you do it. But that's not necessarily true. And that's why I'm here to show you, you can do it better. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. What is a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation? What it's meant to do is emulate the old way of recording, except digitally. But what it's feeding you right now is not the right stuff. What it's feeding you is what you think that you want. It's giving you templates, it's giving you uh, examples of artists. And really when you look at those, you're like, wow, is that how they're really doing it? No, that's not how they're doing it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it because if you want that professional sound, there is a workflow that you really need to have. Luckily, when Apple decided to super garage ban Logic, they kept some of those features that were really cool but they're tucked away and you know, there's a lot of features in Logic and if you don't know where to look for it and if you don't know it exists, you'll never find it. So I'm gonna show you what those features are and what you may be doing wrong in Logic today to help you improve your workflow and be more like a professional and make those records sound like a record. Now let's get started. Number one, you are using Logic wrong because you're starting out wrong. You're starting from a template, maybe you're starting from a new session, and you have to build it from scratch. Let's take a look. So when you're starting out in Logic, you're starting from either a new or a template. Let's look at it from going into just a new, fresh, blank thing. So we can just go File, New, and you get this screen we're all familiar with. It's the old, what do you want to do? So you have some options. You have a software instrument, you have audio, you've got the drummer, if you've got some extra keyboards that are old MIDI keyboards, you have external MIDI or guitar or bass. Kind of an odd grouping here. So let me just say, there's only really two things you want to use, possibly three, and that's these. Software instrument, audio, or if you have an external keyboard that is MIDI, you want to use an external MIDI instrument. Other than that, do not touch the drummer or the guitar or bass, please. Now, I think it automatically loads with default patch here, right? So, uh, and sometimes it'll say open library. Yeah, don't do that. Don't use a default patch because how do they know what you want? They don't know what you want. Maybe you want something, they're just like default patch. Well, you're gonna get a Rhodes and that's what you have to start with. No, you don't. You can start with whatever you want. So I always go, no, give me an empty channel strip and do not open the library. I'll talk about the library later. Oh boy. I'll give myself, uh, let's say, uh, eight tracks of software instrument. Now, there's one other thing that I want you to keep in mind that I haven't said yet, which is most people use Logic wrong because they go from the tracks to stereo out. Now, you're not really supposed to do that. I mean, you can. A lot of people do. In fact, most people do, but they're doing it wrong. Do you want to sound like a pro or do you want to sound like a pro? So if you want to sound like a pro, do not actually go to stereo out. What I always do is I choose a bus. So let's just choose bus one. I'll explain this later. So I'm gonna create eight software instruments and they're going to bus one and they're empty. They're not gonna come with any default patches or anything like that. And for goodness sakes, do not open the library. So here we go, create, boom. There we go, there's my eight tracks. Now let's say I want some audio in this. So I'm gonna go back to my track, go new tracks, and I'm gonna to go to audio again 
No input. Well, we kind of want an input. So it depends on what your audio interface is. So let's just say you have the Scarlet or something like that. And we just want input one. So you do want to assign the inputs ahead of time. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it manually later on. And then once again, I do not want to go to my stereo out. I want to go to a bus. We can change this later and I'll explain to you why you want to do this. So let's create, let's just say eight audio tracks. Boom. Now, typically I like to have my audio on top and my software instruments on the bottom, but hey, you know what? Who cares? I guess I can just drag these up if I really want to do that. There we go. So now you have everything the way you want it and it's all kind of lined up. You got your audio tracks, got your software instrument tracks. So that's how you want to start using Logic. Going to File, New, creating your own thing, deciding to have your own software instruments with empty channel strip and assigning them to buses, as well as your audio, assigning them to buses. You may have been doing it wrong though because you were led down the wormhole of using a template. So when we open templates, what we're seeing is these templates, hip hop, electronic, songwriter, orchestral, multi-track, music for picture. This might lead you to believe, hey, this is where I start if I want to, you know, do a hip hop track or if I want to do electronic or if I want to do a folk song or whatever it is. Let's take a look at some of these and see what's going on. So when we open up our hip hop, this is what we get. We get Dez the drummer and we already have a drum track. Well, hey, I didn't write this drum track. Everybody in the world's getting this drum track. What does it sound like? Okay, cool. And by the way, let's just take a look at our real estate. We have a very tiny space. So how am I supposed to write music here? Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And let's see the instruments they gave us. So we give us a little, uh, it's a specific arpeggiated synth thing. Let's see what else they give us. Some trap bass. But then they give you this bass. What else we got here? Oh. Again, very specific sounds. Like this is supposed to get me started. Well, you've just given me, I guess everybody in the world is writing songs with these instruments in it. What is this? Okay, very different from the last sound. I don't know. And then this, what is this? I mean, come on, really? So I think the thing is, uh, you're giving me a template, but I'm not sure how I can use this because you're kind of hemming me into all this stuff that's going on here and I'm not really happy with this. And so now what? Well, why don't we take a look at another template? Let's just close this one out right now because it's not really helping us at all. Songwriter, man. So if you're new to Logic, you're gonna look at this like, what is this? We got Kyle. Yeah. And you'll notice these tracks are all audio tracks, so you have to have some sort of audio interface to get in the natural strum of a guitar. You're thinking, oh, there's a natural strum of a guitar. Well, it's not. It's just audio. So if you don't have a guitar, you're kind of in trouble. And we got a tracking vocal. Again, you need to have a microphone. The Hi-Fi DI will get us into the bass or whatever. And of course, you're gonna have a piano. I don't know about this. I mean, it's not really much of a starting point. I'm going to get out of this. This template I love. It's great, right? Orchestral. So you open up orchestral and what do you get? Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. Well, I'll just draw, drop some notes in here. Let's see. I'll throw a note in there. Mm, yes. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, no. There's screen sets here. They don't tell you this. Uh, choose an instrument to record. Here we go. Anyway, they give you a whole bunch of stuff, but it's like, wow, I, you know, wow, this is just confusing. And you're like, well, why do they have these regions here? Well, they have the regions here so they can give you this. So when you open it up, you feel like a real composer. You're like, wow, man, this is going to be my score. I don't think so. Next. Multitrack just gives you a bunch of tracks that are open. So that is what it is. But then my favorite is music for a picture. Now, they want to put that big transport bar right in the middle of everything so that you know that you're scoring to pictures so I can see the time code, man. And they got cinema strings here.
But, you know, honestly, when you start going through all this stuff and you start to see this and... I'm like, oh, let's see what the woodwinds do. I think this is a good score to showcase how confusing logic is when it's trying to give you a template. Mmm. in the wilderness. I cannot figure out how to use these logic templates. Just don't use the templates. It's not really working. This brings me to point two of why you're using logic wrong, and that is because you have yet to de-garage bandize logic. Check out part two of You Are Using Logic All Wrong by de-garage bandizing logic. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, and we'll see you next time on George Gabriel Music.